How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you some Balloon Tower defense battles and this one is against the popular name Raw Dog who has just broken 1k subs. He's got a face reveal video as well so if you want to see his face it is in the description, his channel's in the description there. No, his face wasn't in the description. But basically, Balloon Tower defense battles, it's not we agreed to go high round as we did play around before, a game before where we tried to kill each other and... I'm just not that kind of guy at the beginning. I'm too nice. I don't send off these really big bad balloons that will really affect the opponent. And I'm not really the short round player. I'm boss at going high round. Like high round is my thing. As you can see at the moment, um, I think the beginning of a um, video did get cut out because usually the recording doesn't work all the time. But as you can see at the moment, my setup is very different compared to his. I've just got ninja monkeys and monkey subs down. I've got my two, my left and right monkey sub with a um, submarine, and then one of them's got on the reactor, which is very brilliant. I'm, I don't think. No, he has. He's still able to put a reactor if he does choose to at the moment. But at the moment, all he's got, he's got his. All, oh, so we can see all four of his troops down. So he's got ninja monkeys, dark monkeys, farms, and then monkey subs. And me, as you can see, mine. I did randomize that sort of mortar thing, but they're not very good, honestly. So as you can see, I've only got six energy left. So I was kind of searching for a while. Didn't really know what I was looking for. Just wanted to look for something that wasn't too bad. But as you can see, my first troop, that is the bit, my number one troop, the super monkey. That is the one that's going to keep me going these high rounds. As you can see, um, fitting my fifth monkey sub. There you go. Fitted him down. And all I've got now is all five monkey subs down. Two of them with the ballistic missiles. Two of them with reactor. And in the center one, just the baby one being protected by them around him two ninja monkeys at the top i think i've got them on double shot um not too sure um and as you can see i'm just sending him lots of green balloons and i'm only sending them because i can see he's dealing with them i'm not intentionally trying to get him out i'm just trying to do it so that he oh i understand i only started recording this sorry i only started oh that makes sense i only started recording the video about round 20 because i didn't want this video to be like 20 minutes long all right, that makes sense. There we go. So yeah, I only started recording about round 19, round 20. I didn't really look at the top. Um, that didn't really make sense. But nonetheless, as you can see, I got two balloon balloon jitsus on my ninja monkeys. Perfectly said there. And again, it's just the same setup except two balloon jitsus. He is sending me quite a few balloons as well. Those pink balloons do go ahead quite fast, and he has sent me quite a few. But he slowed down on it at the moment. But luckily, the reactor subs do destroy those green and red bluish balloons those red and blue balloons do not get past those reactors it's just those multicolored zebra rainbow striped ones that actually do to a little effect on my on my um base but at the moment three ballistic missiles two reactors and still the two balloon jitsu monkeys um yeah that's well said i've got 1k um eco at the moment so again 1k every six seconds and soon enough i'll be able to save up enough money to start getting the super monkeys but first at the moment i'm just lining up lots of ninja monkeys along this side of here so this is going to be very helpful once those um once round 27 comes it is round 27 now so that's once the first i think bfb start coming or moabs i still haven't got still haven't hacked the name yet but as you can see i am starting to build up those ninja monkeys on the side getting shrikens shrikens and then balloon jitsu and then jitsus of course because that's my favorite at all and there's three there you go the three mobs at the moment not causing no damage as once they get popped the reactor subs and the um, distraction from my ninja monkeys do put a few balloons back and then the blue pink yellow red balloons do not get through at all and as you can see i'm still saying him lots of green balloons i think the black balloons are the best ones to um what is it send eco send sent him because you get six every time you send and he only costs 90 but as, as you can see i'm only getting 2.4 at the moment if i spend an extra 30 dollars then i would get six six um six extra dollars each time so that's about 10 percent no i'd get about I forget the maths. <laughs> uh, anyway, so as you can see, you got the first one up there on balloon jitsu. Second one almost. Now I can put balloon jitsu on that one. So it's looking very solid from my point of view. Looking at his side, um, 
the thing about Raw Dog, he has not got stuff max. And because in one of those seasons, I actually banged this game out and got about 4k from the season, I had enough to max out. I have enough to max out everything except the guy who takes away lives from you, the detector guy or whatever it's called. But him, Raw Dog, he hasn't got stuff max. And as you can see, um, I think he's... Yeah, all he has at the moment, the only things he has is the ballistic missiles on the monkey subs that can actually cause damage. But I don't think he's got the reactors yet, so he couldn't do what I've done at the moment. And as you can see, his ninja monkeys are not maxed either. And that's very vital because balloon jitsus and the, I think it's the 4-2 upgrade, or the 2-4 upgrades, I think. Yeah, the 2-4 upgrades on the, ninja, on the ninja monkeys are so beast, like... They'll freeze everything, it's just so good. And then they do quite big damage to the um, BFBs and MOAS. But as you can see, two more ninja monkeys to do on my side. And honestly, I'm not too worried at the moment. I did lose a few lives at the beginning, but that's what usually happens with me when I'm going towards the beginning of big, towards the beginning runs because I'm focusing on getting the two reactor subs and just getting my eco up. So I'm not really focusing on the upgrades. But at the moment, I'm looking a much better play at the moment. Round 32, n things are not getting through too much. Look at those brown balloons go, but as you can see, the ninja monkeys and the monkey subs and reactors are dealing with them. And once I do get a good, or once I do do all those balloon jitsus along the side there, then I can start fo focusing on my super monkeys. As you can see, he's got three super monkeys. Um, Where did he pull them from? Oh, uh... Ah, I see. Okay, so he's a, he has got one thing max. He hasn't maxed out his mm, dart monkeys, so they that costs about 8,000 for it. So that is something that can help him, to be honest. Once every round, he can use that ability, and when necessary, all the monkey, dart monkeys around, it can go up to 10 dart monkeys, I think, that can actually go super monkeys. So that's very good, actually. That's a, that's a good trait to have when in high rounds, I think. If you have quite a few of them, you can just... Sorry, apply their ability and yeah, so as you can see at the moment my screen, two BFBs are starting to come now and it is looking quite scary at the moment. I am applying my first super monkey at the moment, just wondering where to put it. There you go, the first, that ninja monkey does go down and almost got enough, two more seconds till the laser blasts. There you go, laser blasts are on and that is something that's going to help me. And now I can start focusing on getting lots of super monkeys and that is the best thing to have when you're playing so um super monkey is doing so much damage at the moment and uh, just look at them go and a balloon jitsu monkeys as well i've got the next upgrade on the super monkey as well and at the moment honestly nothing is getting past me once i get a good chunk of ninja monkeys down and there's no more another ninja monkey is going down right now and five more i'm still sending him more balloons to get my eco up and yeah, look at that. The balloons aren't even entering the screen at the moment. Okay, now they are a bit. But for me against him, there's only really one winner that's going to pan out at the moment. I think that is me because only because of Rodog, you have not upgraded most of your stuff to max. And that's that's what that's the big difference between getting above round 40. You need to have max stuff like... Without max stuff, it's honestly the, the, the highest rounds you're really going to get to is like round... Yeah, round 40 will be the maximum you can get to without maxing out your stuff. But as you can see, those banana farms at the bottom of his screen are doing an absolute amazing job. Look at them at the moment. But there is, oh wow, the ninja monkey ability is applied. And look at those. They are actually, that is solid. But yeah, those nin that ninja monkey ability is really cool. I think I'll have to start thinking about getting that next time. But as you can see, my, my super monkeys are just absolute boss like, look another ninja monkey is going down right now almost got enough another three yeah two more seconds until the laser blast here you go and all and then after that is a plasma race and then i can even focus on getting the other upgrades because i don't think i've um i didn't i didn't think i did get the sun god trait on these ninja monkeys a robot one is much cheaper so i'm just now going to focus on oh there you go the laser wow the plasma shots are now on that one and He's looking solid at the moment. As you can see, he's got loads of uh, um, juggernauts. Oh wow! <laughs> it's so hard to keep up with this game. With this game, to be honest. But as you can, as you can see, he did apply that ability again there. And now I'm getting another ninja monkey going down at the bottom here. So 
once I just place that down, there you go, Ninja Monkey at the bottom, and this is just if any little balloons try to get through at the bottom, I'm just going to get this one upgraded, I think, as much as I can, because we've got three plasma ones at the top, so they're going to do so much destruction down there, and then there's going to be the one at the bottom as well, just going to get him upgraded quite a lot as well, and then probably going to get that one at the bottom too, Robot, and then we're really sorted, like, we can... We can get to like round 40 here or something. Like the Super Monkeys. Honestly, I did play a few games after, not gonna lie, and, and against a much better, well, sorry, rule. Against a much more experienced, higher round player like me, I didn't stand it. I didn't even get past round 40 when I used my Super Monkeys because I didn't get the good layer as I have now. Like the layer I have at the moment is absolutely solid. Like, look at it. It's just, oh. so you can see I just took a quick glance at how much it's going to cost to get the robot on that bottom um, super monkey. I think one more, yeah, oh, oh, I understand, yeah, the recording did kind of stop, like, the recording did cut off because of uh, uh, insufficient storage. But nonetheless, as you can see, balloons are getting quite far, two BFBs are going, hopefully he has the ability to apply, because if he hasn't got ability, then things are going to get through, ooh, dog, come on. Come on, you can do it. Just, oh, doesn't look like he's going to do it. Yeah, it looks like it's over for Raw Dog already. <laughs> just when it was getting interesting. Just like I said, round 40 is really the maximum you can go without maxing your stuff. Is he not done? Okay, there we go. He's done. Yeah, so round 40 is really the maximum you can go without max troops. But that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye.